Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and here we are. It is Pantry Cooking for Two Tuesday and today I am going to be making the applesauce muffins using the muffin mix that I put together for you yesterday. So here's the thing. This stuff is awesome. And why is this pantry cooking for two Tuesday? Well, number one, this recipe calls for applesauce instead of oil, and I'm using my home canned applesauce. So there's one thing from the pantry. And for the two part, so most of the time, if you were to buy a box mix or follow a recipe, whatever, um, it's usually for like six or 12 muffins. The, the recipe that actually comes with this muffin mix from the mix Make a Mix uh, cookbooks are for 24 muffins, that's like way a lot. But the part that's cool about using this for pantry cooking for two Tuesdays, I can just divide up the recipe into the amount that I want. So I wanna have six muffins. So the recipe calls for this is for 24 muffins. So what I need to do is just divide that down by four. And then I'll have the right amount of what I need to make six muffins. Now, here's just a tip for you. If you are not mathematically inclined like me, hate to do things with fractions and you know that's most of your cooking stuff is always in fractions so what i do for example uh for this recipe we'll just say the oil or i'm going to be using applesauce but in the recipe it calls for three quarters cup of oil well dividing three quarter cup by four for me is a challenge I don't know if all you guys get it and your whiz is at it great for me no but what i end up doing is i either google or i ask my alexa that oh sometimes she answers me <laughs> i ask how many tablespoons are in three quarter cup so when i did that for three quarter cup there are 12 tablespoons easy divide 12 by 4 you get three so i'm going to need three tablespoons of applesauce or if you're making the standard recipe you would have oil the other thing in this recipe, it would call for four eggs, but a fourth of that, I only need one egg. And it's three teaspoons of vanilla. I don't really want to break that down that small, and I like vanilla, so I'm just going to use one teaspoon of vanilla. Half a cup of water, because the real recipe calls for two cups of water. And then there will be, it is five and a half cups of the actual mix. Divided that down by four, and then it works out to one cup and six tablespoons basically, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is, oh, first of all, I have these little recipe cards and I want to tell you, I am going to do a video on how I made these because they're handy. Um, just letting you know. Anyway, so I have, I'm going to put my ingredients right there and I have the oven turned on to 400 degrees because these are going to bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. But after I get this made and I get them in the muffin tin, which clearly I need a smaller one because I'm only making six muffins max anymore. Um, this is an, one I've had for a long time when I used to make a dozen muffins. But anyway, um, there is a kind of a streusel topping that I'll put on it. And I had to do the same thing with that and break the recipe down. And then what I did was I just wrote them on sticky notes and stuck on the back of the card so I could follow it. So let me get everything measured out and I'll come back to you and we'll put it together. Okay, we'll just do this together. I got the egg cracked. So you put the egg in a large bowl, uh, put the egg and the water and the vanilla and then the oil, which I said... I love vanilla, so I don't care if I get a little extra. That's fine. Um, vanilla, and then it is three tablespoons, and this is a one and a half measure in place of the oil. And this is my home canned applesauce. And yeah, it looks a little brown because it has cinnamon in it, and I think that'll be fine with these muffins. I'm not that worried about it. So there's that. And then the three quarter cup oil or applesauce. And now we're going to put in one cup and six tablespoons of this. Oh, I gotta get the top off. I got that vacuum sealed so it stays nice and long. There we go. Hold on. Whoop, there we go. So, have that. And let me just give this a quick, quick, whoop, a quick buzz. Real quick. There we go. All right. Now one cup and six tablespoons of mix is what's going in there. So I'm going to fill my cup. You see how nice that is too? Super nice. You know, <laughs> I just have things going everywhere. Sometimes I'm like super, super good. I don't, you know, you could, 
I can cook and look back and think, gosh, nobody did anything there. Other times it looks like some sort of an explosion happened. Okay, so there's my one cup. And then I need, what did I say, six tablespoons. And this is a two tablespoon measure. So I'm going to need that by two, three. One, two, three. There we go. All right, I've got everything measured out. Now we're just going to mix up the batter. I'm going to have to vacuum seal the top of that in a minute. But I love having these because I could adjust this down. Now if I wanted to make 12, I could just cut the recipe in half. All right, so let me give this a quick blend. Get that mixed up nicely. Look how quickly it comes together. My old trusty hand mixer. Oh, it smells good. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay. Pop the beaters off of there. And now we're going to fill the muffin cups three quarters full. And I can probably just pour it out of here. Let's do it. That's just right. It's one of the good things about having one of these big Pyrex measuring cups. If you have to pour something like that. That one might be a little full. But that will just make a big muffin. Okay. And then we're going to make the uh, topping that goes with it. And if you used a chunky applesauce, you'd get little chunks. It would be really good. And that's the thing, too, that's cool about these uh, mixes, that you can kind of customize them. Let me get that. Okay. Ooh, I can't make another muffin, but I could fill these up a little bit bigger. It won't be. It will be fine. Get this one here. See, look at that. I cut that recipe in quarters, and it made exactly six muffins. So good. That's more than three quarters full, though. <laughs> They're probably going to ooze out the top and touch each other. But you know what? Does it make them any less edible? Just have extra muffin top. And that's the thing. People have just muffin tops. You can buy those. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go get all my other things ready for the uh, topping, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. So I've got everything for the streusel topping. And what that is, broken down, is a quarter of a cup of sugar, which I've already put in here, and then two and a half tablespoons of flour, which I have there, and a quarter tablespoon of cinnamon. And that's going to even be better because of the cinnamon that's already in the applesauce. And you know what's cool is that little thing of applesauce, um, I could put in the fridge. I put a lid on it, and I put it in the fridge, and I'll be able to use that for like our lunch and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool that I open the jar and it's going to make muffins and have, you know, a meal or two. So then it's going to be two tablespoons of cold butter. And we're going to cut that in. Oh, I might want to put this in a bigger bowl so that I can cut that in. Eh, it might work. Yeah, let me get a bigger bowl so that I can cut this in more effectively. And this is why I have a couple of those large Pyrex measuring cups. Okay, so now I'm, oh perfect. Now I'm going to take this butter and I'll put it in there and I'm just going to kind of work it with my pastry cutter. And if you don't have one of these, you can use a couple of butter knives or a fork and just kind of work it in kind of the way you did with some of those mixes. And so I'm going to work this in until it's crumbly like uh, cornmeal, basically. So let me get this all worked in and then I'll be right back. Okay, I crumbled that all up. And the reason I got a new uh, one of these, you might wonder, like, why she just didn't wash the other one out? Because if I washed the other one out, it would still be too warm and the butter wouldn't stay cold. So now I'm going to cover the top of these with the little strudely mis mixture. And if the butter doesn't stay cold, then it just kind of mixes together instead of being crumbly. So that's the thing. And I will say also, as I've gotten older, I appreciate these... Uh, measuring cups because of the handle because when I'm mixing something I can put my hand here and really get some stable grip on them so if you have somebody that's got challenges like with arthritis and stuff this is the best 
Okay, so we're going to put, now that butter when it cooks is going to melt and it's, oh, I forgot this guy over here. Okay, it's going to be perfect. I am going to, I'm so excited about these muffins. I haven't had muffins in a really long time and they sound fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to put these in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes and then I'll bring them out. They might overextend the cup, the muffin tin, because I filled it a little bit for, fuller than three quarters cup or three quarters full. But I still think they're going to be amazing. Okay, looky look. Those look good. All right, they're going in the oven, and I'll come back when they're done. Okay, they're out of the oven, and I have to see this that oozed over. That's because it was too full, and this is actually the the topping because it it kind of went off the side as the muffin rose but you can see this one's got a really good a really good coating on it let me turn my, my little timer off so these took 20 minutes and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to let them cool and like this part i don't want to touch that because that's the hot sugary buttery part and i'll just kind of push those over on there but i'm going to let these cool and then i'll take them out of the pan and we'll give them a try Hang on, actually, before they cool, I'm going to take this knife and kind of push that topping over into the muffins because I want that there. So yummy. I'm going to kind of clean it up a little bit, but it's going to be so good. And I love the fact that I could just make six. So I think we'll have one with lunch because we're going to have like a breakfast lunch thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to make. But I thought about having some sausage. Anyway, there we go. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm going to let it uh, cool. And probably when it cools, this will stick back on the muffin. And it's going to be fantastic. Okay, there. I took them all out of the pan. And don't they look yummy? Let's get Brian to taste. Hey, Brian. What? You want to come here and taste this? Muffins. So these have been cut back on the oil because I used applesauce instead. And they're actually really good. I mean, I tasted a little crumbly, and it's good. Well, Snicker seems to be. Snip, Snicker likes anything. What is that? Oh. So these are um, muffins. Is it on? Yes. Yep. Okay. He has to know. All right, there he is. These are applesauce muffins from my muffin mix that I made. Just pick one up and break it in half and try it. Let's see. I'm going to half. I'm going to try two. The applesauce is in the middle. See what happens? It's so good. Mm. You like it? Mmm. Mm. Good. I like the crumble. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> so there it is. So yummy. I hope you guys give these a try. This is a really good recipe, and this is the one that's in the book with the muffin mix. Oops, sorry. So it is. It is worth trying. Very good. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.